This movie shows enhancements to business units introduced in DDM 2010.2. DDM business unit controls were introduced in DDM 2009.1. In DDM 2010.2 business units have been extended to provide visibility controls. Business units were introduced to extend the basic access controls for larger organisations. For example, an organisation may have two or more separate design teams working on different projects but sharing some common components. It's important that members of one team do not modify objects belonging to the other team. By allocating users to business units and adding business unit ownership to objects in DDM, users from one business unit could be prevented from modifying objects owned by another business unit. In DDM 2010.2, these controls have been extended to control visibility of items based on business unit ownership. Objects owned by one business unit can now be hidden from users of another business unit. This might be useful in situations where some users are working on a project containing sensitive information that needs to be hidden from the other users. Here, we're logged into DDM as a user, Designer2. Currently, business unit controls are not enabled. Designer 2 can see all items as allowed through the standard access control lists. Before enabling business unit controls, we will add the owning business unit attribute to the search results window. Here we have three business units set up, one called Client X Code Data, one called Client QP Code Data, and one called Unrestricted. The client business units represent data that may belong to a client that is sensitive and should be hidden from users who do not work with this client. If we run a search against project folders, again we can see that five of the projects belong to client Xco. Designer 2 does not work with this client. If we open DDM Administration, we can see how users are assigned to business units. We will now enable business unit controls. Note that there are two levels of business unit control. The Enable Business Unit Modification Override option controls who can reserve or up issue items. Switching on Enable Business Unit Visibility Override will control visibility of objects dependent on the owning business unit. With business unit controls now enabled, we can see that Designer 2 is restricted from viewing data that belongs to client Xco. Running a search against release parts, we can see that Designer 2 has access to the unrestricted common or library parts, but does not see any X company data. If we now log in as Designer 1, we can see that this user has access to data from both business units. Designer 1 belongs to both business units and can work across business units. Although DDM items can only be owned by one business unit, users can be members of more than one business unit, allowing visibility across business units. This also allows a user to transfer ownership of objects from one business unit to another. Where a user is a member of more than one business unit, a default business unit must be selected against the user's account settings. In this way, any new items that the user creates will be automatically assigned to that business unit. For business units to work, all items in the database must be assigned to a business unit. A business unit updater is provided in the administration tool to assign items including folders to business units.